Welcome to the Ease2 software introduction and structure. The Ease2 GUI is comprised of the main tools panel, which shows the active tools, the navigation pane on the left side of the screen, and the ribbon at the top of the screen. Both the ribbon and the navigation pane can be minimized in order to save screen space The navigation pane can also be resized. Ease2 is divided into activities, which are divided into tool sets. A tool set is a set of tools composed of a main tool and zero or more auxiliary tools. Some activities, such as the system configuration activity, contains only one tool set and some contain several. In order to explain the navigation pane's functionality, let's move to the Drive Setup in Motion activity. The navigation pane is divided into three sections. The navigation between activities at the bottom, navigation between tool sets at the center, and the workspace tree at the top. The buttons at the bottom of the navigation pane let you navigate between activities. In activities which have more than one tool set, it's possible to navigate between the tool sets using the tool set navigation area at the center of the navigation pane. When in activities which have only one tool set, such as the system configuration activity, the tool set navigation area has no value, so we hide it. As you can see when moving to this activity with one tool set, it disappears and reappears when moving back to an activity with more than one tool set such as the Drive Setup and Motion activity. As explained before, a tool set is a set of tools containing a main tool and zero or more auxiliary tools. A tool set can show one to four tools at a time. The main tool is always at the top left of the tool set and the auxiliary tools are spread around it. Some of the tool sets, such as the Expert Tuning tool set, consist of a single main tool and the user cannot add auxiliary tools to them. Other tools such as the Motion Single Access Toolset contain a main tool, the Single Access Motion tool in this case, and auxiliary tools. For each toolset, a list of available auxiliary tools is defined and can be seen in the Auxiliary Tool Selection combo box in the Views Ribbon tab. Here you can see the auxiliary tools available in the Motion Single Access Toolset. The user can change the auxiliary tools, their order, and the layout of the toolset using the Views ribbon tab. Every possible layout with one to four tools is available. For instance, the user can arrange a layout of four tools and assign the status monitor as the placeholder for the fourth tool. Then you can replace Status Monitor with Terminal. Using the Tool Selector, the user can replace any auxiliary tool in its place. For example, we'll replace the Recorder with a Terminal. Press the Change Tool button, select the Terminal in the Tool Selector, and press the Select Tool button. As you can see, there's no limitation on using the same auxiliary tool more than once in the same tool set. Ease2 remembers the layouts and the tool ordering of the entire application when you exit the application. When you return, you'll be presented with the same layout that you set in the last Ease2 session. The ribbon contains tabs, which are divided into groups. Each tab and group has a headline. For example, the Views tab contains the group View Layout. The ribbon tabs and groups appear and disappear as needed. In general, the ribbon controls related to the tool that is active appears. For instance, when a recorder is active, the ribbon tabs related to the recorder appear. And when moving a tool set with no recorder, those tabs disappear. Pressing the general button at the left side of the ribbon will lead you to the backstage, which contains Ease2 about information, 
access to the help window, and to the application settings. Thank you for watching. For more information about Ease2 instructional videos, contact expert at elmomc.com.